Center, which side? Which side do we go to? First time. Whichever you like. Do we tie up or just... Yeah, you just keep your line around the edge of the bar, horizontal bar. So, black bar, wherever yeah. you like. Just black bar, wherever you like, just loop it around. Loop it around the black... Just like the black the horizontal bar there. The horizontal one? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Anywhere you can tie off. Okay. We're Chris and Sandra. In 2022, we bought a boat we named Battaway. On a foggy May morning, we said goodbye to Port Dover and headed down Lake Erie through the Welling Canal and on to Lake Ontario. We had a summer of fun boat projects and explored Lake Ontario and the famous Canadian Heritage Canal System, the Trent Severn Waterway. We met some great people and saw amazing sights in beautiful Ontario. We've got plans to overhaul the interior of that away in the spring, so join two not-so-young kids as we dive headfirst into our 2023 adventure. So we're at the top of lock number three and uh, we did this one over lunchtime. It took about a half an hour all told. Uh, before the great day of the great grounding, we thought uh, yesterday we'd make it all the way to six, which is Frankfurt and it has some showers and some shore power. However, we were smart. We did plan for the possibility that we would be hopping from lock to lock, making sure we had meals that we could cook on the barbecue and um, planning for um, some hot water that wouldn't have to use the solar. So I've just pulled out our solar shower that we've had for years and years and years when we were camping, mostly paddling. And I'm gonna put this out. It's not super, super sunny, but there've been moments. So hopefully we'll get some heat tonight. And um, if we wanna to shower tomorrow morning on the deck, we can do that. We've been doing okay on the batteries actually. Uh, we took off this morning and it was still like 94, 95% being pretty judicious with our use of it but um, we just pulled up here and Chris said depending on which monitor he's using it's sitting at a hundred or 97 so we're going to heat up some soup for lunch because we have the extra power and um, we feel like we can use a bit of the energy uh, today so we'll see how the, the hot water goes for the shower tomorrow Hmm. Ah. Is that it? Do you think this is just natural wear and tear, or do you think people have been hitting it? Oh, I think a lot of it is freeze thaw. Oh, yeah, I guess. Should we go further? Is ah, uh, no. That's pretty, a pretty tough. Up yeah. Ahead, really. So it's the next morning. I had to move the bag around a bit during the day yesterday because the uh, boat itself was getting in the way of the sun. So I just kept moving it forward in the bow. Um, it was kind of warm last night, uh, I think it, the little meter here read uh, 104 Fahrenheit, which is, you know, body temperature. Uh, it's been cooler overnight, I think it's like 14 or 15 degrees when we woke up, so this has cooled down quite a bit. But we think we'll be at Frankfurt at Lock 6, either at lunchtime or tonight, so, and they have showers available close by there, so, and I'm not in really a big panic to have a shower. So we're going to keep this out here today. It's not supposed to be terribly sunny today. And I'm going to see how it does over the next couple of days.
So this one's going up a lot faster. It's probably really hard to tell in a video, but we can sure feel it. Feel like a bathtub toy. Yeah. Like really fast. I could barely tell on the others how fast we were going. So we're at the Campbellford Public Docks. It's quite beautiful. These are some of the boats on the 30 amp west wall. There's a couple that are doing the loop. And this just about cracks us up. There's this huge toonie in the park. We asked someone earlier what the significance was and we'd already had our guesses. And I was right, it's in uh, it's to mark the person who designed it was from Campbellford. So it's incredibly sunny right here in Campbellford and uh, I'm on the east side of the river. I have no idea if I'm pointing this in the right direction because I can't see anything on the flip finder. But if I am, there's a boat over there, that away. Uh, the decals, the new decals are being manufactured early next week and hopefully we'll be picking them up in Peterborough when we get there and putting them on. But it's um, a gorgeous day. A little too hot, but better than rain. It was a living day or something, wasn't it? I just go by the prices. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work.
Let me come around to this side. a.m. on Thursday and I have books that I've read that I've been picking up at marinas and little sidewalk um, libraries so I'm going to take it back to the one here on the canal in Campbellford. It's, not, it's a pretty short walk so it gets me out a little bit of exercise and maybe I'll find a new book. I'm putting back the book that I took the other day plus I'm going to put this one in that I picked up at the Port Whitby Marina. I don't know, but I think that might be the cutest little sidewalk library ever. I realized as I was walking back that I would lost my credit card out of my pocket, so I backtracked and whew, there it is. My little spot while Chris is in a meeting. After about an hour, the lock master came down to the bottom of the lock and invited me up to see what the guys were doing to try to fix the issue. I guess he, they'd seen us waiting all morning to lock through and then it broke and we were sitting there. So they were frantically trying to get it back together again. They figured that a coupler had stripped, but they were also waiting for the mechanic to come with the extra motor that was available in case they needed it. So in the end, I'm not sure what they did to fix it or if the mechanic came, but we definitely got going again, even though it was five hours later. Because we waited five hours, we were behind schedule, and Chris had taken time off work to um, make this push on a Friday. So we booted it out of there, and we made it to the top of Lock 17 at sundown. It was probably one of the more beautiful evenings we'd had on the canal. It was mostly deserted, although there was another couple on a houseboat. They'd been houseboating the Trent Severn for 60 years. So we had a nice chat with them, and they settled in for the night, and so did we. The next morning we took off bright and early, got to the bottom of the Hastings Lock, Lock 18, and then uh, transited through very first thing in the morning and scurried across Rice Lake and onto the Otonabee River, which was the lead up into Peterborough, where we were meeting our daughter Kathleen for the weekend. She's a film student and she was coming to help us with a bit of equipment and to get some audio for a film project and for one of our YouTube ep episodes that's already been uploaded called Storming the Welland. The Atonabe River, pretty laconic ride here. really splotchy the lens. I don't know if you can see that. So I need both of you in turn. You can decide who goes first to do a clap slate. You're just gonna, in front of the camera, you're just gonna do a clap. It's so I can sync up the video. Um, Actually, that boat is gonna mess up my clap slate. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need you guys to do clap slate. Can we do clap slate, Mom? 
claps like dad. Perfect. Uh, what was the, there was that footage of um you guys just watching that big boat, the big cargo ship, I think. And so, What's your question? So at the <laughs> at the start of the day, we left um, the marina that we'd spent the night at the night before, and I'm forgetting the name of that. So marina. we left. We we. But I would like to keep talking. But Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf, thank you. Okay, okay clap. Hang on, hang on. No, no, you don't need to clap. <laughs> <laughs> We're so cute. <laughs> Spent just under a month at uh, the Port Dover Marina fixing up. Should I stop? <laughs> You're staring a little bit <laughs> dead. This always happens when we get together. <laughs> okay, everyone settle. <laughs> Do we um, get to clap again? No. <laughs> you clap when you... I, you have to clap I, at the top of cuts. Because I figure that clapping is a good way to reset. Do you want to do the clap? No, it's fine. I can look at that. Okay, sorry, Dad. We interrupted your story. Yeah. So, uh, we got the boat in, uh, and... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, I this year, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you bet. Okay, I'm on. Either side's good. Stick to the front or? Oh. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay, are we good? Okay, just give me a minute. Yep. Look good there. Yeah. 
Have a good day. I didn't read it, I'm just assuming that you're going to tie up because it's a big bathtub, right? Yeah, that it's a docking procedure, not a... Exactly. I guess this is what river boats do all the time. You wouldn't enjoy what? Well, like the boat literally just fits in the lock, right? They must have much better steering than we have. You mean like how tight it is? Theirs is pretty loose. It feels like it when we're in here. It's fine when we're in the lake. The next lock, or are we going up the next lock? We're going to go up and it's the planet. So, Chris, let's head up to dock until we get other instructions. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you could ask this person. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Can you confirm with him that this is the right side? It's coming down, Sandra. No, this here it is. He's yeah. I don't think so. Do you want us ahead? Right here? Green light here. Yeah, they're gonna open it in just a second. Don't tie up. It's green. You're gonna need to push me off, please. Yep. Is 
center, which side? Which side do we go to? First time. Whichever you like. Do we tie up or just... Yeah, you just keep your line around the edge of the bar, horizontal bar. So, black bar, wherever yeah. you like. Just black bar, wherever you like, just loop it around. Loop it around the black. Looks like the black horizontal bar there. The horizontal one? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Anywhere you can tie off. Different from the other logs. You just wrap your rope around it, you're good. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. I'll be the rear first thing, Chris, okay? Yeah. Do you want to just go all the way down? We can go further. Yeah, let's go further. Up to you, I would go further, but... Okay, I'll go put it in here and then it'll be... Okay, slow it down, Chris. Slow it down. I'm not reversing, Sandra. Okay, just keep the bow where it is. I'm going to feed off, okay? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. That was so much faster than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Just watch your lines in the upper chamber here, please. As this gate opens, the water's going to rise by a foot. Thank you.
Folks, gate's fully open, you're good to go. about it, yeah. We usually recommend if you need to use our washroom. Yeah. Just push it in. Don't let people walk okay, across the street. Just hang on a second. So just come around the, and park right on the... Uh, yeah, our office is over on this side. There's tons of gray wall. If you want to spend the night, that's a better side. Okay, let's go. Okay, did you get that, Sandra? We're going around to yeah. the side. I'm going to go past it and then do it yeah. to the... Thanks. Over there. August 15th was our 14th day of not running aground, so we considered those two weeks a definite win. It's always nice to have the kids and their partners on board, so that night we decided to stay at Lock. 21 at the top, and we went out to dinner with Kathleen and got her on the bus back to Toronto. The next day, we headed off to Lock 22 and beyond for more adventures. The last two weeks made us way more comfortable going through the lock system, and our communication system was getting better. Since we completed the Trent Severn, we actually invested in some headphones, so hopefully in 2023, There'll be less yelling across the boat to try to be understood. At the time of publishing this episode, we're back in Midland, having spent the winter in Georgia. We've got plans afoot to renovate the galley and salon of that away. And Chris is working on an episode about the lithium phosphate battery system and the solar panels and our experience with it over the summer. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications. We always appreciate a like if you've enjoyed our videos. And remember, any questions or comments, please enter them below. We'd love to get a discussion going. See you next time.